All right, to access the internet, I'm just gonna be trying out a few USB modems. So this is a, an unbranded one from eBay and I'll plug it in and see if it works. All right, once that USB dongle was plugged in, nothing appeared on the screen. So it goes to show that that's not a compatible device. What you should do is go to the compatibility list of QNAP site, put in your product type and uh, select what category of device you're looking for. And they'll have a list of all the recommended devices that work for them. So now I'm gonna try out a D-Link and see if that one works. Now the D-Link device that I'm using isn't actually on the compatible list, but after about a minute, it just randomly started working. So that's uh, good news. There you go, we're connected on Wi-Fi. So now that we're connected on Wi-Fi, let's see how fast we can go. Getting around 15 to 16 megabytes a second, even accessing it through Wi-Fi. It's pretty fast as well, look. Loading the drive, uh, instant load there, sort by size. Slightly slower, but still. You can jump through. Everything seems to be loading nice and fast. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And of course, let me know what NAS drive you have or what NAS drive you're planning to get. All right, it's time to get some fundable speed.